uh, this is um, a brand new tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you deconstructing the song Ginger by Whiskey featuring Bonaboy. The song was um, originally produced by P2J and Kelpy and it was written by Balogun Damini Ogulu. It's a beautiful song of Whiskey's fourth album made in Lagos. Um, I recommend you check it out. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing how I made, remade the beat in FL Studio. So let's get into it with the first session. The first thing I added was the clap. And um, this is what it sounds like, the pattern. So this just uh, repeats over and over again, like a loop. I like to make mine like um, eight bars long. So the second thing I added was this percussion sound. This is what it sounds like. So what I did was. I played my velocity a little bit. Um, I and I used two notes, C five and D five. Yeah. So the two elements together sound like this. Yeah. So the next thing I added was uh, this loop. The loop sounds like this. Just to make the sound fuller, I felt it gave it a kind of bounce that I liked. So the three elements together sounds like this yeah so the next thing I added was this kabasa sound let me show you what it's like kabasa yeah so Alone, it sounds like this, more like a shaker sound. I think I mixed it. I layer two sounds: a shaker with a kabasa. The shaker, because of the high pitch, the kabasa was too soft for me, so I added this shaker because I liked the texture. So by layering those two together, it gave me a better fuller sound for a shaker type sound and um, it sounds like this more like an offbeat type sound and um, I played with the velocity of uh, the other one the kabasa so that it can have the feeling of movement let me show you what that looks like yes so i played with the velocity and i used different notes so we have these three notes i'm using we have the b4 c5 and uh, c sharp so giving it some kind of um variation and movement in the way it sounds so the three elements together sounds like so. Basically this just repeats so I think we can. So the next sound I added was uh, this conga. 
Conga, let me play it for you, hear what it sounds like. Just one sound on F5. I played around until I got a sound that um, I felt was okay. Initially I put it here, but I didn't like it. And I think I also pitched it down. Yes, I pitched it about 504 cents to give me this sound. I, I was actually just playing around until I got exactly what I thought sounded okay. So everything together sounds like this, including the conga sound. So the next sound I added was a kick quickly to give me this bounce. I like to finish my percussion before I add kick. Um, the kick alone sounds like this. I reduce the velocity of this just to give it that uh, movement feel so everything the percussion with the kick the elements all together sounds like this So that's about everything for the drums. The next thing I added was uh, the keys. I found this sound from... Uh, this sound was from... Let me see... Funky guitars... Funky fingers. The keyboard, the classic... The classic grand. So alone this is what it sounds like yeah let me show you the chords um, what are the chords of the chords of the chords of the chords so we have uh, C sharp, F sharp, and A. And we have B, E, and uh, G. Those are the major two chords just playing over and over again. So just those chords. So. The instruments, the drums, and these together sounds like this. sound I added was a guitar I think from contact I don't want to load up that contact but this is what it sounds like the guitar 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 it should be this so it's a this is what it sounds like so the notes are G F sharp and D. So everything together up to that point sounds like this. So the next sound I added was um, a bass guitar. 
but before I do that let me show you where I got the sound for the guitar from I think from Nexus okay the XP guitars the GT nylon Spanish yeah that's the sound I used for the guitar now the second the next sound the next element was the bass because I had already added um, sound from funky fingers and um, I didn't want to overload my PC so I decided to use purity for the bass sound so my bass sound yeah purity purity and this is what the bass sounds like Basically, it starts off with E and it goes down to C and then B and then and then it the, the pattern repeats itself but slight variation is slight different C5 and then A so it sounds like that So what sound did I use? I use purity, purity. Um, what sound? The EB Rock finger, just like the way it sounded. I used it. So everything together sounds like this. Yeah. So um, before I go on to the next section, uh, let me talk about the key of the song. What key was the song in? So that's the key of the song. It's, um, C D E E minor key the key is e minor so the scales the chords everything are from uh, the e minor diatonic scale well so once again this is what it sounds like so this this pattern continues for about eight bars eight bars to be specific and then uh, before the intro now comes in so this is what it sounds like just the same thing repeated again so Let's go on to the next session and I'll explain what I did. Okay, so for the second session, yeah, so this pattern, the whole of this session, copied, repeated, so that's just exactly the same thing for another eight bars. Then um, I added some other elements. So let me show you what it means. I added. Um, I added a vox. Let's check what that sounds like. Vox. So this is sound from contact. Let me turn this up. From exhale in contact. Right. So the sound is from exhale. The
the walkie talkie in the Excel. So it sounds like that. Okay, so get out with the beat. That's what it's So with the rest of the rest of sound. Okay. Next thing I added was a muted. Limited guitar is very low. Then, uh, next thing I added was this vocal sound. I recorded this. So basically, I recorded this straight into a first studio with my mic, and then um, what did I do? I okay, I gave it auto tune, um, settings low mid, friction speed was 20. I don't think I changed anything. Put the key E minor, uh, I think that was about 
just so that you can say the parametric EQ I just bought them for. They wanted to flash the drum kick and the bass and uh, just cut it like this. Then I gave it Gave it that, and then um, I added a compressor just to change the dynamics of it. Um, I set it. Uh, I just try to make it as stable as possible, and then uh, I added reverb. That's what it is. Uh, uh, oh yeah. So with the beat. So that's about it. I think that's about the major, almost every single bit. Um, after this, everything, most of these patterns just repeat themselves. A little bit of break here, but every other thing is the same. I added a different guitar here. I put it here in a bit. But uh, this session, let's go to session device. Um, everything is the same. There's a break here, and then um, there's a slight variation. Uh, basically, so just blend it. So it's just keeping the rhythm. Just uh, one. And that's just the part. So that's basically what. And then um, there's a modulation. Modulation here. That which is um, in. So um, that's just it about the base here. Let's move to the session. I think basically um, some elements just came off and some came in. Every other thing remains quite the same until we get to this part as a modulation. Here, this, and basically what happened here is a key change. So every other the percussions and the drums stay the same, but uh, there is a key change here. So let me play it. Basically, what happened here is everything moved, I think, a semitone. So let's go the for the keys. So the notes are now D, G, A, and then the second chord is um, C, F, G sharp. Yeah. So that's that for the keyboard, uh, the keys, the guitar is a G, uh, G sharp, sorry, G sharp, G and then D sharp, that's about it, and then um, what else, the bass guitar, started playing F, C sharp C So um Okay
okay so that is about it let me take you back to that region we are over here yeah. okay so um, this plays electric guitar so basically this play the same thing just a key change so this playing d sharp f d sharp c so basically what happened is the key move from uh, e to f minor Thank you.